It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor, and Percy, Thomas, and Gordon were chatting about what they were going to do that day. But before they got started with their tasks, they all had one big problem that they just couldn't get off their minds. Percy, Thomas, said Gordon, what are your thoughts on the new bridge that they built right next to Tidmouth Shed? Bridge? What bridge are you talking about? said Percy. Oh, you know Percy, said Thomas. The new bridge that's right next to Tidmouth Shed that's, you know, about 20 feet from here. I don't remember them building a bridge, said Percy. Yeah, it's right over there, said Thomas. Oh, that bridge right there, said Percy. I remember now. How could I forget? It's so close to the shed, but anyways, yeah, it is pretty close. It's definitely a nice bridge, said Thomas, but there's so much traffic that it keeps me up at night. Remember that one time that James kept waking me up in the morning? It's kind of like that, only nonstop. There seems to be a lot of construction that goes on on the other side of that bridge, said Gordon. I understand that things need to get done, but it's really loud. I wonder if there's a way that we can make the bridge more quiet. Let me go investigate, said Percy. Percy decided to check out the bridge. When he got there, he noticed how loud it was when he went across it. And then he decided to stop at the crying museum. That bridge sure has a nice ride and, well, it's not too loud, but it's definitely loud enough where I could see why it would bother all the trains sleeping in Tidmouth Shed. Gordon decided to follow Percy as well because he wanted to check out the bridge for himself. When he got to the crying museum, he saw Percy and decided to check in. Well, Percy, said Gordon, the bridge certainly is noisy, but I have an idea to make it more quiet. Oh, good, Gordon, said Percy. What do you think we need to do? Why, we can muffle the sound, said Gordon, and I have just the thing to make that happen. Let's go check it out. And Gordon decided to go back on top of the bridge. Percy decided to give Gordon some time before he went back to the bridge to see Gordon's idea in action. And when he got there, he was surprised to find what he did. <gasps> wow, said Percy. Gordon, is that a muffling cave? It sure is, Percy, said Gordon. I keep one spare muffling cave in the back of Tidmouth Shed and figured this was the perfect place to use it. I wonder if the muffling cave will really work and make this bridge a lot less noisy. Let's let's check it out, said Percy. So we went through, and lo and behold, it was a lot quieter than it used to be. Percy couldn't wait to get back to Tidmouth Shed to talk to Thomas about Gordon's awesome idea. He had seen the muffling cave and how well it worked firsthand. Percy, you, you sure came back quickly. You look really excited. What's going on? said Thomas. I could barely hear you when you got here. Well, Thomas, said Percy, Gordon had the coolest idea. Now when we go over the bridge, you can barely hear a thing because of a really cool muffling cave. Oh, do you mean that muffling cave that Gordon kept behind Tim's shed? said Thomas. That's the one, Thomas, said Gordon. I've been looking for the right time to use it, and well, that time is now. As the sun began to set on the island of Sodor, all three trains got to admire the muffling cave and how wonderful it had been since Gordon decided to use it. And they all slept very well that night. The end.